Hey guys, let's build a marketing strategy. So, I'm the founder of a media agency called X8 Media. We recently finished up a fun little project with Netflix, so as I'm working with some fun brands in my company, I thought it'd be fun to show you guys what the fuck I do in a day-to-day -day life. So, today we're doing marketing for Seed Summit through a crypto summit slash virtual event, and I'm helping them get some customers into their virtual conference. So, what do you do to build a marketing plan? I'm glad you asked. The first step is asking yourself, who is the target audience? The second step is, what do you need to say to make this target audience interested in your product. The third is your tofu mofu bofu strategy, aka your marketing funnel. So that's where we're going to go in today. Let's start with step number uno. Okay, so for Seed Summit, you might be asking, Jade, what is Seed Summit? So I'm gonna read the quick little description of the event. Seed Summit is a crypto X creator summit that will convene top thinkers, designers, and artists around some of the hottest topics hitting the crypto headlines today. Hear directly about how to build social tokens, how to build community, crypto economics, and of course, NFTs. So this is an educational event for the crypto creator world. And as you might be falling asleep hearing that, I am so fucking excited that they asked me to do their marketing because I am obsessed with NFTs. Just literally go to my YouTube or Instagram story. I just nonstop talk about this technology. So because I'm an active fan, I already know that their target audience, right? The first number step is someone like me. I'm a creator. And the reason why I am so interested in crypto is because it enables creators to make money to supply and monetize their life. So the target audience will be content creators like me. But also, I am someone that's also a business owner. So I know their second demographic might be a business owner or a marketer. I literally just twitched right there. <laughs> and the last thing that I would consider someone to come to this event is a collector. Someone who likes collecting crypto art and consuming. But I would say this is a small, portion of the audience, the main are these two. Now, if you're a business owner creating a marketing plan for your brand, it is helpful to interview people, right? It just so happened I'm a fan of crypto and NFTs, so I could speak from experience. But for example, if you are a dad and you're marketing to moms, you might want to interview more moms to understand who would buy this product. So when creating a marketing roadmap, it really starts from identifying your target audience and it helps if it's a version of yourself. I know a lot of you guys in the comments, I see want to start a social media agency and y'all, I literally recommend you guys to double down into your ignorance okay if you're someone young starting a social media marketing agency don't try unless you really want to get challenged you know I wouldn't recommend to try to market to moms because it might be harder for you to understand but if you're young and you're 17 18 19 years old like me you might be better marketing to other 17 year olds because you get those bitches right so when I was first starting my agency a lot of people were wondering like how did you gain so much experience it's because I marketed to my own kind like I remember my first client was a bubble tea shop down the street in my store or in my neighborhood and we were marketing to high school kids in my own high school so i just really recommend to kind of like build experience in your bubble and then over time you can expand like right now i used to only market gen z and now i'm marketing to other creators artists business owners crypto investors because i kind of have a bit more empathy for them but marketing is just really empathy you have to ask yourself how would i feel in their shoes so that's kind of the stage number one Stage number two is product positioning. You want to ask yourself, you know, how do you position the product into a very concise way that makes your target audience light up? So for creators, I know the number one thing that they'd be interested in is learning how to make money out of NFTs. That is the easiest way to position it. So by understanding your audience and your product, you can find that product positioning. Now we take all these knowledges into stage three. All right, time to make the shittiest marketing plan ever. It's only shitty because I get nervous when I make shit in front of y'all. Y'all be ruthless in the comments. Okay, our target audience are artists, creators, slash marketers, and business owners wanting to learn about crypto, all right? Let's call this audience Bob. So we're trying to target Bob. Now, typically in marketing, there's something called tofu, mofu, bofu, which is essentially how you convert people. You want your top of the funnel, which stands for tofu, to be the largest as possible. Then your middle, and then your bottom, okay? So as I'm making this up out of my ass, I think the best way to target Bob is through Twitter and Clubhouse. The reason why these are the two platforms I recommend versus like YouTube, Instagram, TikTok is because in the crypto space, there's already a lot of pre-built communities, right? And the only reason why you have to know this is because you kind of have to empathize with Bob. So for any marketing bitches out there, try to like really put yourself in the shoes of like who you're trying to target because it helps you understand like who the fuck to even target. So we're doing Twitter and Clubhouse, okay? That's it. I know. Like this entire YouTube channel is how to grow on YouTube and Instagram and TikTok. And we're doing Twitter. So this is where my mind gets a little foggy because I'm like, I don't really know how to do this, but I believe we can do this. Let's, let's stay with me. Okay. So our goal is to attract 
a lot of awareness from these two platforms to then bring to the middle of the funnel. The goal of the middle of the funnel is to find people who are interested in the event. So if the top of the funnel is just awareness and the middle of the funnel is interest, how do you get people that are aware to be interested? The most common way to convert people is through a reward. We're gonna do some sort of giveaway thing. I don't know what it is yet, but I always have seen the best marketing campaigns reward the user for taking interest. So, you know, by following this account or clicking on the website, you can get a reward or a gift. I talked to Jess, who is the founder of the Seed Summit, and he was saying that we could potentially give away some sort of one-on-one -on -one with the speakers since this is an event, and we could create like a bundle little gift of some tokens. These tokens are the reward, right? So what we wanna figure out is like, what we want people to do to get these things to obviously get the end goal which is conversions right so these are people that are spending money or in this case joining the event and this is called the bottom of the funnel so we have like i told you a shitty you know <laughs> marketing plan but i think it gets the job done and i think that as long as you guys are empathizing with your audience you really don't need that much like whenever i consult bigger companies or fortune 500 companies i always say like you don't need all the platforms at once you know you can have a youtube tiktok and instagram profile over time but what you really need is one or two platforms that really target your audience and just being really good on those two platforms. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go a little deeper on the Twitter strategy. So for Bob, I'm gonna think about profiles that Bob would follow. So I'm gonna list the name of communities. There's one called Friends with Benefits. I believe there's one called the Seed Club Community. A bunch of the speakers at the event might be a great way. So there's a speaker called Blau who's an artist, we have RAC. If you're doing this for another brand, you wanna list you know, the amount of creators or accounts that your target audience follows because this will allow you to target those audiences, right? So imagine my idea is like we have this giveaway where you get to have a one-on-one -on -one session with a crypto god speaker and you get tokens. Imagine what we do to promote this giveaway is we ask all these speakers at the top, right, to retweet that little giveaway post so then their audience sees it and they're more inclined to join. I'm gonna do the same fucking thing on Clubhouse, okay? We're gonna list all the influencers that would have the ability to convert this audience and just copy and paste it. So it just so happened that all these speakers are also on Clubhouse and Twitter, so we don't have to make a new list. But you know, sometimes in my agency, whenever we work with brands on different cross channels or platforms, you have to work with different creators because not all creators have Clubhouse or Twitter, you know? I think this is a solid looking plan. I mean, Amanda, my video editor, love you, uh, will probably make this a more cleaner, cute version, but I feel like this is the fucking sauce, okay? It's simple, it's doable in two weeks. All I really need to do is just figure out the content we need to promote this giveaway and figure out a timeline. So I think we're gonna launch this actually on Monday. So we have that done. Let's just go make the piece of content. I'm gonna go talk to the graphic designer on the Seed Summit team and see if you can grab that graphic. Typically my agency works with other designers to develop content. We don't always do it. So I'm gonna go call up Carlos, who's making graphics. It's time to make a timeline. This is super underrated because when you work with more than yourself, like any group of three, you have to be clear when you're launching shit. Like literally last, last night I fucked up with my own song, Influencer. I told my producer I wanted the song to launch today, which is the 19th. But apparently I, he accidentally said it for midnight of the 19th which was basically last night. And my song was just released out in the open. And then I literally did not know until someone of you, one of you guys told me my song is just out in the open. So have a fucking timeline because I literally fucked up my entire music marketing strategy. All right, so timeline. All right, so what we're gonna do is build out a timeline. I use Notion, the best fucking platform. I trying to cuss less. I use this template called Timeline. Timeline is literally a easy button. I feel like this is an ad for Notion. This is literally not, <laughs> but use coaching. I use this Timeline template. It's just the easiest because you can add the item what you want to do. So for example, for this, we're going to do a tweet to the Seed Summit Twitter of the giveaway. So announcing the giveaway, right? And we want to set this for Monday and we want it to last for five days. Do you see that? Fucking Houdini up in this bitch. I keep cussing. <laughs> Okay, but as you can see, it's a really easy way to like, just add the timeline. And if you ever wanna push things a little later, you can add that there. You can also add a timeline, right? A timestamp, so you can make sure it's, hey team, 3 p.m. So I'm gonna build this out for the Seed Summit. We're launching everything on Monday. So I'm just gonna plop it there. 
Oh, and look at that. Jay Demer walks a channel feature. Hey, that's you guys. Y'all should come to Seed Summit if you want to. I actually am doing the marketing of this actual event and I've just been working with the founders really closely and I'm just super excited to talk more about crypto. So here's more information if you're looking for it. Seed Summit is the first crypto creator summit ever. You'll be able to hear directly from people that pioneer the crypto space, NFTs, which you've obviously seen a lot of if you've watch the channel, how to build communities and everything of the future of Web 3.0, okay? If you're someone who's confused as fuck with all this shit, definitely come to this event. There's a bunch of speakers. I'm also moderating a panel, which I'm super excited for. So hang out with me and come through. I'll drop the link in the description box. It's completely free for you guys. And did I mention that I am moderating? I know, <laughs> I know. I wasn't good enough to speak. All right, back into the video. Um, you guys can see that my own marketing was in the strategy. So I always put the names of the partners we're working with. So, you know, if you work with certain communities or influencers, you can kind of align the strategy with each person. So love you Notion. Thank you for literally helping me with my career. Now what I'm gonna do is share this link with the Seed Summit community. Like I mentioned, if you're working with teams that are bigger than yourself, you might need to communicate it to people. So I just like to share this link with the people in the Seed Summit planning group. So I literally just drop the link in this Discord that we're in and they can just, everyone can see the plan and everyone's on the fucking same page. So I just go in here, go into here and I drop it in. I hope you guys like that video. I love to make marketing plans. They're one of my favorite things ever. Sometimes it doesn't work, sometimes it works. And like, all you have to do is just empathize with your consumer. That's the number one thing I've learned in terms of like how to market better. It's just, you have to be that target audience. And if you're not interview those people, get close to it. And that's why I love marketing. It's just genuinely like, a, it's like a family. <laughs> okay guys, thank you so much for watching. Shout out to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. If you want to be the next comment winner, comment below. And please stream influencer, because my dumb ass did not make a proper marketing strategy for that. So I need your help promoting that and just sharing it. If you guys do listen to influencer, tag me on Instagram, TikTok, whatever. I will literally share you. Love you guys. I'll see you guys later. Bye.